Hi, my name is Nathan Suazo and today I'm going to show you how to install a new P-trap for a vanity. In this particular case, this P-trap doesn't reach the new pop-up assembly. So we're going to cut this out and put in a new P-trap. Okay, these are the materials and tools that we'll need to replace the old P-trap. The first thing you need is the abrasive open mesh or you can use sandpaper. Next, you'll need a coupling. So in our case, we're doing one and a half inch P-trap replacement. And this coupling goes to the old pipe that's sticking out of the wall and then we'll connect it to our new ABS. You'll need some ABS. This is two feet, 24 inches. And then we have ABS glue to glue everything together. And these are reducers, one and a quarter to one, one and a half inch. And these are used to connect to the pop-up assembly. A rag, I highly recommend a rag so you don't get the ABS cement all over the bottom of the vanity cabinet. The next thing, you'll need a tape measure. Maybe we'll use these channel locks, we'll see. And then the most important tool is this pipe cutter, one and a half inch pipe cutter. This thing is amazing, you're gonna love it. And then a P-trap. So as you can see here, the old P-trap doesn't quite reach the new pop-up assembly. So we're just gonna pull this old P-trap out and put a new one in that does reach. Okay, first things first, we gotta cut out the old P-trap. So we're gonna take our one and a half inch ABS pipe cutter and as you can see, we got a problem here. So we're gonna have to cut the ABS pipe cutter handle here so we can make the full 360 degree turn here. So just by chance, I happen to have it already cut. And now we're gonna wanna bring it out maybe a half inch so we can have something to glue to. And you're just gonna push this on. I'm gonna have to get inside the cabinet and push it onto the pipe and then just start turning it slowly do your 360 and there you go it's done perfect so before we can start gluing everything together, we have to take off any old paint or debris. So you can use your mesh here to clean it. If you want to get it all the way around. Or you can use some sandpaper. Just get it nice and clean like it's new again. Then we can attach the coupling. So the first thing is we're gonna dry fit the P-trap in. We're gonna take our P-trap and try to line it up with this tailpipe that's popping out. And then we're gonna do this vertical pipe here. So just get your tape measure. It's just gonna be rough. You wanna go a little bit extra. So if you can get it on the first time, great. So it looks like uh, we'll go eight inches on this. So now we're gonna cut our ABS eight inches. So now we're gonna cut our pipe eight inches. Now remember, we're just roughing it in. Take your marker and just mark it there. And I know it's black on black, but you should be able to see it right there. Then take your pipe cutter and you can use these lines here where they molded it together as part of your guide. So just lining these lines up with my mark. Just slide it on there. Pew. And then do your twist. And there's our pipe. If we need to cut it again, we will. Then put on your reducer. Grab your P-trap. And then we're gonna set this in to the pop-up assembly and then we'll get the measurement to the back of the wall. So now we cut this vertical pipe to go up on the pop-up assembly and you can just tighten this up here and it will just stay, it won't go anywhere. 
So now we're gonna measure from the coupling inside there's these grooves here, right when it stops, hear it? From there to this, to this edge here. So that's gonna be about four and a half. Now if it's too long, we can always cut it short. So now we're gonna cut this pipe four and a half inches. And if we cut it too long, we can always cut it again. So make your mark. Take your pipe cutter. Remember, there's a line right here. We'll just line it up with our line we just made. Push it onto the pipe cutter. Twist. And we're done. So don't forget to take off this sticker. Makes it hard to glue these things together if this sticker's on here. You don't want anything leaking. So just take this off. So now we cut the pipe four and a half inches. You can see <clears throat> it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get in. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna disconnect the P-trap. Just move this out of the way. Connect our new four and a half inch pipe. Push it on. It's just dry fit right now, it doesn't really matter. And back your nut, push it on, just take your time, don't cross thread it. And then now we're gonna check our fittings, make sure everything's okay. So I noticed one thing when I took off the, the back pipe here, it's really a little bit lower. The new P-trap is lower than the old pipe coming out of the wall. So the only way to fix this is we need to cut this an inch or two so we can uh, make sure that these are level, these two sections are level with each other. So we have plenty of room. I mean, it's all the way to the top here. We have about four inches. So we're just gonna cut off an inch and a half. So this collar here will have a little more play. So let's cut off that excess. Get your marker and your tape measure. So we're gonna go one and a half. There's our one and a half. There's our center. Push it on. And twist it. And now we'll check our fit now. So now we're gonna check to see if we line up with the the old tailpipe coming out of the wall here. And there, it's perfect now. We have what we need. And now we're gonna start gluing it together. So now the fun part, now we're gonna glue everything together. We're gonna do it in two different sections. We're gonna do the tailpipe. So disconnect the P-trap here. And then we're just gonna disconnect this part here. And don't glue this part yet. We're gonna glue that last at the end of gluing all this. So we're gonna glue in here, and then we're gonna glue in here and around here, and the same thing on this pipe. So now, here's the fun part. This is what you need the channel locks for, because normally they have this thing so tight you can't loosen it with your hands, so just use your channel locks. And don't panic, just take your time be thorough, and here we go. So what you're gonna do is you see in here, we're just gonna take this little ball in here and we're just gonna run it all the way around like that. Then set that down and we're gonna do the other side too. Take your time. Okay, so now we're gonna join these two together Weld them together. And this is one thing I like to do to make it look nice and clean. This way we don't look like an amateur. Then the next one, same thing. We're gonna just go right in here, right up to this line here. That's on. 
So now we're gonna go to the next step. It's a good idea too not to get it all over your vanity cabinet so you want to use some cardboard or a rag. And there you go. Just keep this cleaned up as you go so you don't get it all over the place like I did. Okay so now we're gonna put the front half of the P-trap on. And that way we can line up the back half exactly with the, the nut here. So just tighten this up and then move it out of the way so we can glue this piece on. So now we're going to glue on the back piece. And it's the same thing. Just try to make it so it's not going to drip all over the place. It, it, it will drip, but... Okay. And then get it on your tail piece here. And then we're going to push it on. And at the same time, we want to line this up. There it goes. Tighten that up. And let it sit for a few minutes, and then we're going to test it. So now we're going to do a water test, make sure the drain pipe is not leaking or the P trap's not leaking. So, what you can do is you can use your hand just to double check. That looks good. So one thing about wiping that glue with your hands, it really gets on your hands pretty good. So you really got to scrub to get it off. Just take a towel and uh, it'll come off with a little bit of aggressiveness. And probably best to do this in the shower. So now that we did our water test, we're going to check for slow leaks. And you can do this by putting your finger in between these grooves here and looking for water on your finger through reflection. And it's usually pretty obvious. Even check your angle stops and your connections for your supply lines. I don't see any leaks here. I'm going down the cup coupling here. Another trick you can do is put a piece of cardboard or a paper towel and check for leaks for like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. So we're good, perfect. Now we can go to the next project.